Hey everybody, this is Dawn with the Nash Chat, and you probably recognize this lovely lady um, sitting to my left, Miss Co Katie Bodenhammer, uh, the store director here at Draper James. Good morning. Good morning, Dawn. <laughs> so the story, a little bit of us, is that I applied for a job here at Draper James. You did. You did not give me the job, um, Untrue. but <laughs> Untrue. we already untruth. We. <laughs> We became friends and we posted so many fun events together and I basically live here at Japer James. Um, I've tried to get my own drawer like to keep my things like my toothbrush and that kind of thing but we're still working on that a little bit. I, I think you know we can definitely talk about expansion <laughs> in 2020 and make some office space for you yeah, in the back. I know I need an event space here. Yes. We're working on that. Yes. But tell us a little bit about you about your family and how you got to be at the store director here. Well, um, I am married and a mom to um, three children. I have um, Monroe, who is the queen of the entire house. She is three and a half. Um, Miles is almost seven. And then um, my bonus son, Maddox, is 14. And we'll be going into high school, which is very scary. So we're touching like teen, grade school, and Still toddler. So I'm just <laughs> it's a lot to, to manage. Covering all of the bases there. Um, and um, what brought me here? Well, quite an adventure. <laughs> um, I was managing for Michael Kors in the mall and had been there for almost five years. And um, I had heard that Reese was opening a store here and just casually said to my friend Tara, who you know, um, one day we were talking and I just said, I just need to run that store. So I'm, somebody needs to just call Reese and tell her I need to run that store. Um, but it was just in jest, obviously. And then fast forward a few months later and um, I just went out on a limb and decided to um, email the CEO via LinkedIn. I found her on LinkedIn and just sent her a message and was very bold and introduced myself and said I was interested and then um, I had an interview the next day which that felt like a god wink and then after probably five more interviews um, I got the job but it, that was a lot of interviews five it, I mean <laughs> wow. you know it's a lot you got to make sure you have the right uh, person. It's a big, yeah a big deal for sure so um, that was an important lesson I feel like for me and just um, that it definitely pays off to, to be bold and you can't be afraid to hear a no or like I did here at Draper. But. Oh. <laughs> or <laughs> you didn't hear a no. Um, or sometimes you don't hear anything, but I think that was an important lesson to me to just be bold and I mean the worst they can say is is no and in this case they said yes. So oh, well awesome. Well I think it shows, you know, I feel like a lot of us often have these dreams or aspirations and it seems unobtainable or whatever, but you, I don't know. I feel like you have to like go for it too. Like you have to make some kind of like steps towards the goal. You can't just sit and like hope it comes to fruition. So I think, you know, by you being um, intentional and reaching out and putting yourself out there, um, it paid off in a big way. Yeah. It was one of the bravest, but best things I think that I've done, um, in my career, I would say, and just like speaking it out and then, you know, making steps to make it happen. And I definitely think there was a higher power involved in it, the way mm -hmm. that everything just fell into place. Right. Um, it seemed meant to be for sure, um, but definitely a lesson. Well, Draper James is known to be a um, very Southern brand, obviously, but it's also one about bringing people together and sisterhood. How has some of that played into your role here as far as creating your team, the way, you know, you guys have so many, uh, the Nashville location especially is so unique because you have so many people who are not from here that are coming in. And so how does that all tie into what you all do here as far as hospitality and customer service? I think that you know, early on from my conversations with Reese and her vision for the brand and really what she wanted um, the space to be like and really to be a place for people to come and share stories about their families and 
Um, you know, the foundation of Draper James is really Draper James is, is her family and her grandparents and um, honoring them. And so I think that, you know, that was very important um, and kind of woven throughout our story is that, you know, there are little touchstones. Um, like, for instance, the We Serve Sweet Tea, and that is kind of a reference back to a department store that used to be in Belmead McClure's um, years ago. And I used to shop there when I was young with my mom, and Reese told me stories about um, that with her family. And they used to serve, you know, tea and hot cocoa and have, you know, very um, special touches like that all through the seasons um, in the store. And so that was kind of important to her. So I think from those conversations and then, you know, fast forward as we've been open four years now. And I think that that really is the backbone of who we are and the team here um, and the hospitality that we give and the service and the relationships. Um, I think it's definitely a key part of who we are. Um, and it's just really it's kind of a non-negotiable, I guess, is the best way to say it. Like, I feel like it is um, vital. Um, really in brick and mortar retail anyway, I think it has to be about the experience. Mm -hmm, right. If that, mm -hmm. um, if you're just selling things and that's all that you're doing, I think those stores don't last very long these days in my experience. I heard someone talk about um, being a smaller business in an Amazon driven world because mm -hmm. it's so easy just to click that button, but you're right. It's all about the experience and coming in. And obviously I'm a huge fan of the brand and the store, but you know, I think even someone who's never been here, you come in and there's all these beautiful colors and it's beautifully decorated and then you all are offering sweet tea and there's country music playing. And so it's just a fun place to come. And um, I love also that you all have created really a community space mm -hmm. here. Um, I've hosted several events here. I There's always somebody here doing something fun, whether it's book signings, um, other small businesses, you guys have done a really good job of partnering and really making this space like to bring people in. And mm -hmm. I've seen how people have come to events and then they become friends or they partner with their business. And so it's really um, been neat to look back and see how that's all transformed too. And that's really, I would say, been in the last, I feel, I guess year and a half to two years. Um, and I think you've been a really big part of that in connecting and introducing a lot of people um, to us, but I, it's definitely been the most enjoyable part of my job and, um, you know, the team here, we, we love to have events and, and give back to the community and support uh, things that are important to Nashville. And um, I think that that really sets us apart. Absolutely. Like well, let's see, we have had bouquet bars, we've done face painting, uh, book signings, we've done like Lots painting, parties. decorating, all sorts of things. Who knows what this year is going to be? We've already been brainstorming, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, we, we have hopefully some exciting things on the horizon this yeah. year. I think we're trying to evolve and, and, you know, continue what we do so well, but think outside the box even more and how we can open our doors to more people and more women, especially. Mm -hmm. We love the men too, but, you know, we're, <laughs> we're all about the females here, female empowerment. Um, you recently had the opportunity to go and speak at Graceland with um, Priscilla Presley. Tell us a little bit about that event and what you were doing there. So I went on behalf on, of Draper James. I was asked to go and participate in a fashion panel speaking about um, just elegant Southern style and staples in a Southern wardrobe. Um, so we were there for the weekend and it was um really remarkable to see Graceland um, through Priscilla's eyes and her experience. Mm, and um, it was really such a gift. I had been to Graceland when I was younger years ago. Um, and so, but to go and like experience it obviously with her. Um, what a once in like, a lifetime, really. I know. I, I think after I left, even I, I reflected and was like, wow, that was so amazing. We have, um, a dinner on the lawn by the barn at Graceland, and they had never done that before. And so I felt, you know, that felt really special. It was just amazing. Um, but that was really interesting. I guess a funny story that one would not know um, is that the week leading up to that um, 
conference, um, Priscilla actually called me. Whoa, she um, got I guess your number she was on calling, speed dial. Like, the panelists, um, but I wasn't. I had no idea that that was going to happen, and I was in the Sonic drive-through, so glamour. Um, and Monroe was in the back seat, and I answered the phone, and she introduced herself, and I almost You're like, like wrecked my car and <laughs> drove through the Sonic um, because I was so like taken aback that she was on the other line, but. Um, anyway, it was just a really amazing experience to speak in front of, you know, predominantly women and share the story of Draper James, but also, um, you know, key pieces in a wardrobe. And I had never really done anything like that before. And, but it, it was kind of a bug that bit me and I, yeah. I want to do more. So we'll see if I can, you know, get to the Southern Sea with you next year, Dawn. Well, it's I'm sorry. List. This is a little bit of a downgrade, you know, Priscilla to the Nash chat. I don't know, but not true. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, yes, well, I'm excited to see what the future holds for that too. Okay, so um, tell us a little bit more. Where can viewers tell us the location where they can find Draper James and where they can find you if they like to connect on social media? Oh, good. Okay, so we are here on 12 South in Nashville, um, at the most precious little street with lots of fun shopping and restaurants. And then um, I'm just at Katie Bodenhammer on Instagram. Yeah. Check and you it can out. See my silly family because that's mostly what you will find there. And um, yeah, come here, come shop, Let's play. Well, you are going to show us around a little bit and show us some key pieces coming up for spring. Yay! Let's go. Well, you guys stop by here, Draper James in 12 South in Nashville. You can see Katie. You can, she will help you style everything together yeah. and grab a, a good sweet tea.